Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is a video on performance reviews of the five warmers that I received in my new season sales kit a couple weeks ago. I have had time to melt wax in all of these and move them around the house and just think about them. And so I had some requests from people. Would you please give us thoughts on the warmers that you had that were early access. So that is what we're going to do. And at the end of this video, I also thought I'd go through a few of the highlights of the new catalog that I'm very excited about ordering in March. So we will just start with one of the full size warmers. The Sea Star is the most classic of all of these warmers. It really goes back to Sensi's roots. It is a really beautiful warmer. You can hear that clicking. This is all ceramic. It's nice and heavy. It's got the portholes on the back, the vents, just like most of the older style warmers do. And it has beautiful blue that graduates to sort of a sandy cream with the rope all the way around it, almost like a pile of rope that you'd have on a dock somewhere. And this absolutely gorgeous and very detailed sea star that's literally tied on with some twine. I really like this. I think the only thing that would be a vulnerability is I would not put this in a high traffic area where this very fragile ceramic star could get broken by pets or crazy children or teenage boys throwing their football in the house or whatever's going on. So then we also have the dish, which is just a really standard size dish, but it's nice and heavy. And again, it's made out of that same gorgeous glazed ceramic. This has that reactive glaze that Sensi really made their mark in the wax community on. It throws very, very well, retains heat well, and it has these nice vents out the back that give you just nice little dot pattern on the wall at night. This is a very good one. And for $45, I think it's fairly priced. So I'm really happy with that. Now the next one, I'm kind of worried that this might sell out pretty quickly. We don't typically have that problem anymore because Sensi is really good about stocking things. But wow, you guys, this warmer, this etched hummingbird, which is a white, just unfinished ceramic bisque warmer, with a 25 watt light bulb and the other one's 25 watt also. And then pretty much the same dimensions of dish, but this is clear glass that goes on the top. This thing is such a stunner. It throws a beautiful pattern on the wall. It's lacy all the way around in just the most beautiful, almost like wallpaper pattern. My only complaint with this, as you can see here in the video, is that if you have bulb glare sensitivity, on a scale of one to 10, I would say this is only like a one or a two in annoyance. It's unlike some of our older warmers where the bulb was totally exposed and people hated it. This one's not like that, but if you are sensitive to bulb glare kind of as a general rule, that would be the only downside to this stunning warmer is that with all this laciness in the pattern, the bulb is slightly exposed. You could certainly put a colored bulb in here and that would change the dynamics, especially if you did like a purple or a blue, which will not be as bright as a clear one. But this warmer, no matter what you're going to do with it, I think is a stunner. I'm going to be giving gifts of these and I have already a customer who's prepaid me to order some of these for her when it comes out. So this is the Etched Hummingbird. This one is another $45 warmer and it is truly, truly one of the most stunning things I think since he's cooked up in a long time. Really like it. Now, if those two were not good enough, my favorite warmer out of this collection of five that I was able to get early access to has to be this glorious Sunset Sands. This is a $50 40 watt warmer. The other two are standard 25 watts and I need to plug this one in. This warmer, value, looks, throw, all the things. It is an absolute 10 out of 10 for me. So let's try this again. It starts out sort of a stormy, coppery purple, and then it's copper at the bottom. It's shaped very much like a vase. It's got nice curve and shoulders and it's still kind of angular. Really, really nice, shallow, wide dish. So you put together the fact that it's heavy glass. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's heavy glass. It's 40 watts. It has the right size and shape dish. This is probably in my own opinion, where I always have to put in a disclaimer, your performance and your experience with the warmer can be totally different than mine. I have definitely found out in the past that other people have not been necessarily happy with my superlative reviews on things and doesn't work in their own home. But for me, this is one of the best warmers since he's cooked up for probably price, looks, and performance in a very, very long time. I think you should be, you know, I'd say 80% chance 
90% chance even, extremely satisfied with this. So this is one where really the only issue is, does it go with your decor? And do you like the very distinctive look of this gorgeous textured marbled glass with all of its band of copper in the middle, the sandy at the bottom and more of a purple bronze at the top? Phenomenal warmer, you guys. I'm so happy with that. So then that leads me to the most questions I've gotten is on this guy. This is the Stargaze Mini. And the reason that people are concerned about this is that it is a 10 watt element, no element, it's a 10 watt mini warmer. So this guy has a 10 watt bulb. You can read on here in the fine print on the bulb itself that it's 10 watts. But if you get on the side of our plug-in here, you're going to see that Sensi says that this plug can take up to a 15 watt light bulb. So that made me then call my director and question, okay, I know we need to use a 10 watt bulb with the Stargaze and last year we had to use a 10 watt bulb with the mini of our mercury glass pumpkin also. But why is that? Is it because the glass shade can't take more than 10 watts or is it because of the base or what's going on? So what she told me was that since he had not certified for use in our region, because I'm in region one, a tabletop base for a 10 watt bulb. But common sense, I am putting another disclaimer out here. This is common sense. I talked through this with my director. I believe she even got support or somebody higher up to verify this. Common sense says that if you can put a 10 watt warmer into a 15 watt uh, socket here, this 15 watt socket, you should be able to put a 10 watt bulb in just fine. I cannot stand by that 100% until Sensi certifies it in our region, but it should not be a big deal. So I'm going to take my 10 watt bulb here and I'm gonna live on the edge and I'm going to stick it into my 15 watt base. Cause the general rule of thumb with electrical, the common sense is you can go down in wattage, you cannot go up because this is only rated for a maximum of 15 watts to go through this current and light bulb and all this jazz. So. Okay, let's see here. Now I'm going to turn this on, on the tabletop base because it's just a little easier to control. And look how beautiful this is. I have been shocked at how much I like this. I put it in my Florida room and against the soft green paint in there, this goes a beautiful rosy kind of a goldish uh, copper and pink inside of the silver speckles here. And the reason that these need to be 10 watts, this and the one from last year that was the mercury pumpkin, is because of the mercury glass finish, you guys. That is the whole deal. You do not want too much light coming through the mercury glass or you're going to distort the beautiful glowy finish and the depth of the mercury. So that's really what we have going on with these. And people have asked a million questions and that's the best answer that I can give you. Until Sensi certifies that this base is safe, it's not official, but common sense says you should be able to use it. So last but not least, we have the other mini that I really, really like. And that is going to be our fish in the sea. I just put a picture of this lit on Instagram in one of my walls. The only downside with this one is it's heavy, heavy, heavy. But because of all this inlay, this thing throws very, very well for a mini warmer. But you need to make sure you have a good, sturdy outlet where the plug's not going to wobble. So for me, I will definitely be using my handy dandy tabletop base because a lot of my plug outlets are older and a little bit on the loose side. So I'm gonna put my 15 watts back into my tabletop base for glass here. And I'm gonna light this up. And I have been so, so pleased with the performance on this mini warmer. And it's just plain beautiful. And it throws cute little fish against the wall so it kind of looks like they're swimming. And they're beautiful colors. This is definitely better in person because you can see there's sort of a warm, creamy tile fish. And then there's the aqua and the more regular blue. And it's just gorgeous. So I would love to have something like this in a full size because I would absolutely get it. This is one of my favorite summertime minis in a while. Right now we have the Ocean Life, which I'm not sure if that's going away or not. Let me check. But this may be replacing that. They're very different but that is fantastic. So all of our minis are 25, the Sunset Sands is 50, the 
uh, Edged Hummingbird and the Sea Star are going to be 45. So let me just check and see if the Sea Life Mini is retiring. I'm not remembering if it is. Nope, it's not. Ocean Life Mini is still available. That's one of my other favorites for the summertime. The Shore Why Not is still available. There's lots of wonderful nautical themage in here and just so many pretty things. The Ocean Ombre is a gorgeous warmer. I've never bought that personally. Anyway, so let's segue from I would repurchase any and all of those warmers, honestly. I've been very happy with all of them. Best performer, absolutely hands down, is going to be the Sunset Sands, and then the Sea Star, and then the Fish in the Sea Mini, and then the um, the Etched Hummingbird should be good. I would say somewhere between maybe the Amazing Grace and the Aziza, as far as practical performance review on that. And I've been pretty impressed with even the Stargaze Mini, so... I really have nothing to complain about. Let's go on to some scents and some other warmers that I would really, really like to get. I won't get them all in March, but that I would like to get. So we have this cute as a button that's gonna be coming out. This is a mosaic tile inlaid warmer and it's kind of an unusual shape. It's going to be a 25 watt and I am really looking forward to probably purchasing this later in the summer and putting that out with my early fall decor. It's so, so cute with the red and white button top and then it has the creamy um, curved mushroom bottom. It's so adorable. So the new releases, what is Elizabeth going to be buying as soon as I can get whatever my order is in while I've got cruise, no Wi-Fi issues? <sighs> Bamboo and rainfall, very sweet. Cake Me to Paradise. I think I will get at least one of all of those soon. I'm definitely going to order a couple of Cake Me to Paradise right away because that has been my hands down favorite. And then maybe a Bamboo and Rainfall. I definitely need more Evening Sky ASAP. So that one has the Soft Bergamot, the Madagascar Vanilla, and the Midnight Lily. It's a softer smell, but I just want to fill my home with it. It's so beautiful, and it would be very good paired with Dashing, very good paired with Mountain Sunset. There are similarities that those different scents share. Moon Orchid, I don't know that I'll get another one of that right away. Pinkberry Sandalwood, I think I want two of that. Sippin' Poolside, I want more of that immediately, and it's strong enough that that and the Bamboo and Rainfall, I may only get one bar initially of both of those, but I'm going to melt them, and I might get two of Sip and Poolside. Then the Sun Castles and the Very Vanilla, I probably want two or three bars of each of those immediately, because I want to fill my home with those scents, and they're on the softer side, but that Sun Castles, I wish that there was a way where I could take that scent in a room spray on my cruise, but it's not going to happen for the timing of things that are available. But wow, that would be amazing. The Very Vanilla, I'm probably going to be purchasing all spring long and just figuring out how well I can get that thing to perform. So then there are some other warmers and a few from last year. Like I already mentioned, Mountain Sunset, I have these, so I'm not going to be ordering them. But if I didn't have these in my stash, I would definitely be reordering Mountain Sunset. This is a scent that went way up in my estimation after it had time to sit and get stronger. This is so good. I loved its smell last year, but I was worried about performance. This is now a good solid medium or a little bit more. I wouldn't say medium strong, but it's like a good medium now. And then uh, no performance issues with Manga Matcha from the day that they put this thing in the clamshell. This I am so glad came back. So these are new releases from last year. Oh my goodness. You guys have got to try the mango matcha. This is zesty and juicy and fruity and has a lot of depth. It's beautiful. And then the last one from last year's new releases that, again, I still have it, but if I didn't, I would be reordering it, is the raspberry hibiscus tea. This is so good. And I may be melting some of this this week to get me ready for my cruise. And uh, I did hoard a couple cubes of Cake Me to Paradise and Sun Castles that I did not sample out to people because I wanted to melt them the morning that I was getting ready to leave for the cruise. So I, I did do that. I was, I'm guilty, I will confess. Because I just want to feel like I'm ready to go fly away. So those are going to be all amazing. And then another bar that I did put this in my club, but it's coming back, thankfully, again, is Coco Lime, which is one of my all-time favorite spring-summer standard bars. So if I hadn't clubbed it, I would be super thrilled to get a whole bunch now, but I've got a stack, but I'm gonna start melting more of this in earnest. And there are just so many good scents in this new spring summer catalog. Some returning ones like your Blue Agave and Melon, Mahalo Coconut, um, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. I'll be melting some of those later in the season. Pina Colada Cha Cha, Aloha Citrus, Kukui and Coconut. I'm so glad that's back. So there are so many. Banana Leaf and Bamboo, I'll probably order some of that. I have to see what's in my stash and melt that this spring. 
That was a great one from last year. White Amber and Silk continues on. Even Woodland Meadow, which I wasn't so sure about. I think I'll get at least one more bar, but I don't know that I'll do that in my first order. In my first order, I think I'm going to get mostly bars, and then I may pick up this Lemon Grove element warmer that looks like a pitcher full of lemons. It's just so cute. So that one is $50 and it's an element warmer and they don't give us the wattage of the catalog. So I'll have to get it and see what the truth telling is on the bottom of that. But there's just great stuff here. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am about the new things. I think I want to get the bamboo and uh, banana leaf and bamboo in counter clean. I looked at doing the early access consultant kit of that, but I'm probably not going to use the bathroom cleaner or the all purpose cleaner all that much. So I'll just wait till I can use a half off on the bamboo, the banana leaf and bamboo, just the counter clean, because that is my favorite of their cleaning products. And we are losing a couple of prominent products when it comes to our laundry line. So I thought I should relate that to you one more time before the catalog changes. We're going to be losing in laundry the um, pink cotton and magnolia linen. So if those are your loves, you might want to go and stock up on that. And then I just had a wonderful customer yesterday call me and start a Scentsy Club because she doesn't want to lose fluffy fleece, which as a bar will not be carrying over into the spring summer catalog. So like her, if you need to have a stash and you don't want to just buy 20 of them now, you might want to do a Scentsy Club for those things that are going away, like your cinnamon bear and other staples that are just really, really nice to have even spring summer when they can't put everything in this catalog. You know, some of it's got to retire from fall winter. So I hope that the reviews on the warmers were helpful and I really, really cannot wait to see what you guys order on March the 1st and beyond. Have a great day, guys. This is Elizabeth Quinn with Elizabeth Scenes and Sense. God bless. Bye-bye.